on PSTV. What does the weather look like today, Irene? It looks like a high of 45 degrees and rainy. Tomorrow will be about one degree higher at 46 degrees with rain. I'm Irene Hossein. And I'm Alexandra March. Let's take a look at today's top stories. According to MyNBC5, Plattsburgh community members are coming together to bring holiday cheer to the neighborhood. Fundraising is underway to raise thousands of dollars to buy new lights for Plattsburgh's holiday tree. The tree is at the corner of Brinkerhoff and Market Street and will be adorned with festive lights throughout the holiday season. After last year's tree was reported uninspiring to some, community members have come together to improve the tree with lights. The fundraising effort has been successful as organizers are only $800 shy of the goal. CNN is reporting that a woman opened the emergency exit door and jumped out of a plane as it was taxiing down a runway in Houston. The United Airlines flight had just landed in Houston from New Orleans and was headed toward its gate when the incident happened. Quote, I realized when the door popped open and a woman stepped out of it, unquote, passenger Hampton Friedman said. He was sitting across the aisle for the woman, from the woman, who was not identified, was treated for non-life-threatening injuries. Police in the Philippines have arrested almost 1,000 Chinese workers. The Chinese workers were found by authorities at an online gaming office. When the team entered the office, three of the workers tried to escape by jumping from the second floor. They sustained minor injuries. According to CNN, money, many of the workers have no proper documents and will have to be checked for immigration statuses. If charged with violating Philippine immigration laws, there will be, they will be charged and could face deportation. Unfortunately, that is all the time we have for today, but make sure you tune in every day to get the stories that matter most right here on News Briefs. I'm Alexandra March. And I'm Irene Hossein. Until next time, North Country.